So I've just got myself one of these Nix colour sensors. Um, reason being is um, when you're wanting to do a faded look or a distressed look uh, using DTF, this is going to be uh, the best way I can think of doing it. So what I'll do is actually I'll take a, a, an actual colour reading of this fabric uh, and in Photoshop I'll drop it into the background, fade my image back. Um, so obviously when it's printed you're going to get values of this colour in the print itself but it'll help you control the fade as well. Um, these are available um, which I've put on the notes below. Right, so this is the logo I'm going to use um, to distress and use on the uh, the khaki background. So it's just a vector art file. Just simple. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to take it into Photoshop. And I'm actually going to work on the side <coughs> because that is 280 is my max uh, film width. Um, I can go as long as I want, really, because it's 100 meters long. So I'll just set myself a file up, paste that in, spin that around, and I'm going to blow that up to the full width almost. Going to give it a couple of mils spare. I'll just trim my page down so I can work closer. So now, um, <clears throat> what I need to do is apply the green um, colour or the colour values, which I've already pre got and I brought that in already um, from the NYX sensor. So I'll flood my background with that. Uh, let's just get rid of that white. Okay, so I'm going to make that a multiply, which gives it a deeper black. And then I'm just going to start playing around with the transparency value. Um, let's go down to 25. I'll be a bit weak, I'll say 30. I'm going to duplicate this green layer. I'll turn my belt on one off and I'm going to select the actual skull. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete around that skull because if I don't get the value of the green in with the black, then when I remove my bottom layer, which is the green, it's going to be just transparent grey. So I'll inverse that and I'll delete the background. Now that gives me my print colour. If I bring the green back in, you can see. And if I want, I think it's still a bit dark. I'm going to take that back a bit further. And because I've got the green underneath, it's still there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm actually just going to duplicate there, just in case I make any mistakes and just switch them off. And these two, I'm going to actually merge the layers together as one. Now, I've got a grunge file on my desktop. This again is a layered file. So I'm just going to select the grunge, the distress bit, copy it, just get rid of that. And I'm going to paste that over the top, blow it up to full size. And don't be, don't be too concerned at this stage where your distress lies uh, because you can repeat this over and over. So what I'm going to do is just going to select the distress, just hide that, come onto my artwork layer and then press delete. And as you see, it's removed the colour from that area, so I'm still not 100% with that. So I, I like the bigger chunks uh, in this top area. So I'll bring that in again, select it again, hide it and again delete. Now that to me, I'm happy with. I think I could do with a little bit more distressing down in this area. The bottom of the teeth. So I'll just take that again and delete. 
there. So that's that's the distress look I'm after. Um, I can save this as an RGB PNG file. It's not my preferred mode. I prefer CMYK, but um, okay, distress one. Save to the desktop. Or I can bring another layering of black and I can convert that for now to CMYK and save as a TIFF. And then I'll put this on a memory stick and we'll move over to print. 